Yeah, so I think that the real difference between when you guys uh, first ran the course, which I think was in 2015, and uh, now when I run the course, is that um, Jen has helped to develop this online uh, MITx uh, platform. Is that now it's really a flipped classroom course, so it has this blended learning aspect to it, where the students complete online reading uh, before they uh, attend the classroom hours, and then in the classroom we really go through examples, worked examples, where the students can apply the theory that they've learned um, while they did the online reading. And I think this is the key um, thing that um, you guys and Jen uh, um, and, and myself really saw the course being uh, when I started teaching it. So how, how do you ensure that they do the online reading? So um, the online reading uh, has many uh, examples where the students can attempt something, attempt a question, and uh, it's 10% of the grade for the course is given to them for, for getting these questions right. It's a small incentive uh, just to make sure that they complete uh, the online questions. And of course, we, uh, we get feedback uh, data to know how many students uh, do those questions, and it's, it's, it's relatively easy to check to make sure that there are uh, students doing them. Um, so that the way that the online notes are structured is that they're hosted on the MITx residential platform. And so all of the reading, there is no text, but all of the reading is online, and there are questions interspersed between the text. And so it's these questions that are really depending on the text before it, which tell us if the students have been doing the reading, because they can't answer these questions without actually attempting this work. And I think some of the parts that were really useful about using digital tools in having students interact with the content were, one is that we used the sketch response tool, so we could actually have students draw pull diagrams and pull zero diagrams, and they could get automatic feedback on whether or not that was correct. Um, we could also have them sketch responses to a system and get, re get feedback on that. The other thing that's nice is that it really makes some of those simple examples that you often have to spend a lot of time in class doing. We can now do those online and have the student get immediate feedback, see the answers. These are things that maybe it's not worth doing in, in class when you have someone Send like Philip back. who's there. And instead now he can spend his time working through the really complicated examples and giving the scaffolding and fading to help them do much more interesting problems than on the homework. Yeah, I agree actually. And I, that's an, another way that I really see um, this course as maximizing the kind of utility of the time that the students spend with me and with, with each other. So we go through more involved examples where they have to really stop and think about things uh, rather than the kind of, you know, uh, uh, kind of rote examples where you just really make sure that you understand the specific little concept. So do, they turn, do the students turn in homework in this course? Yeah, so the way it works is um, in terms of them getting a grade is we have the online uh, lectures in which they have to answer uh, questions and we give that a small uh, a small 10% uh, of their grade is from the online uh, examples and then we have problem sets in which they have to um, answer slightly more involved questions uh, and they're handed in uh, once every week and then we also have a midterm and a final exam. So uh, one of the great uh, virtues of having online questions, in my opinion, is students get immediate response to, to uh, their answers. And uh, as opposed to waiting a week or something and getting their homework turned back to them, and of course, who needs to be the bad news? They don't open the, open the sheet to see where their mistakes were. And with an online setting, one of the great advantages is students see right away what, what, whether they understand something or not. Yeah, I agree. And that I think also a lot of the literature shows that it's actually when you're first learning something that that immediate feedback is the most useful. And actually when you're doing more complicated things, sometimes then the immediate feedback is less helpful. And so that actually really built, is built into the way the course is run. Um, one thing also that we do is that we actually have a problem set checker for exactly. the homework. So they actually know before they even turn it in if their answers are right. And that's something that we decided to uh, add in this uh, this time that we taught the course. This mm. time that I taught the course. Mm -hmm. So in the previous um, the previous time that I taught the course, some of the feedback that we got from the students was that they would like to have even more online examples. Um, and one of the things that we did to rectify that is that we made this, or Jen implemented this problem set checker, so that the students at the end of each lecture could see the problem set and uh, answer the questions and get some immediate feedback on them. And by the lecture, you mean the online unit that they were going through? Yes, exactly, exactly. So after they've done the online reading, they can also see the problem set and uh, answer the questions and get them checked. 
Another uh, th great thing I think about the online version is the way the mathlets get inter inter integrated into the course, very seamlessly integrated into the text. I agree, because I think that one of the things that is hard for novice students is to interact with the mathlets because because they were really designed both as a student facing tool but also an instructor facing tool really to demonstrate things in lecture and so for a student who doesn't know what's going on sometimes it can feel like there's just too much going on too many sliders too many buttons and so instead we can embed it in the web page and then have really guided problems and guided activities that help them understand how to interact with it and to help them figure out what they should be looking for and what are the real responses of interest. Mm -hmm.